Hi guys, happy Friday and welcome to day four of my 12 days of carry series. to wear this turtleneck sweater. It's a cropped sweater, so I think I'm gonna do a corset holster underneath. I'm gonna wear this corset holster, I think. This is gonna be my concealer for the day. I got a blue ink stain on it, or black ink stain on it. I, it won't come out. But I've had this holster for like seven years, and it's holding up pretty good, except for the ink stains. But no one sees it anyway when I'm wearing it, so. Let's throw this on and I'll show you how it conceals. This corset holster is by the brand Dean Adams. Um, and it was the second holster I ever bought. Because the first one I got was like a regular Kydex all the way around holster. And I realized that that just doesn't work for my lifestyle. I like to wear a lot of different things. And I just needed something more feminine or more made for women. And so I was so glad to find these. They do make men's styles though, so they're not just for women. This one does have a trigger guard insert. It's that piece of plastic right there. Um, and they sell trigger guards on their website. This style I don't think is available anymore for trigger guards. Um, this is just like one piece that goes right in front of your gun and I sewed it in. But they do have trigger guards available on their site. I'll link this below. I do have a discount code for Dean Adams. So if you've been wanting to get one of these, I definitely recommend them. They're worth the investment um, and they last for, I can say at least seven years because that's how long I've had this one. Okay, here's what we're starting with. I just have this cropped sweater. I can't remember where I got this from. And a pair of jeans. So I think I'm gonna wear the corset inside. Sometimes I like to wear it outside my pants but I think because of how cropped this sweater is, if I like reach up, I don't want it to show. So I'm gonna put the corset on under my pants. Just like I showed you guys with my belly band, I wear these off center so that the grip of the gun goes more towards the center of my body and doesn't stick out because that just makes concealing the gun a lot harder. So I move it off center. Here's the center of the, the corset and here's the center of my body. So it's just a little off center. Then I'm gonna take my carry gun, my M&P Shield Plus. I don't think I've carried anything else so far during this series. This is what I usually carry, and I'm going to carefully put it in that pocket. So I use my fingers to open it up, and then the gun goes right in between and behind that trigger guard. Look how far down it goes. It's really tucked in there. Yes, it creates a bit of like a bulge here, which isn't super flattering, but the sweater kind of hides it all. I think I posted a picture or something of this corset holster the other day and someone said that it's like an impossible draw because of how low the gun goes into the pocket. All that's sticking out is like the rear sight, but it's a fast draw when you get used to it. So don't let anybody tell you that you can't draw out of a holster fast. It's all about practice and that person who commented was probably someone who never used this type of holster before. So. I think sometimes people mean well, but they speak out of no experience. For winter, the added layer isn't really a problem. In the summer, it's another layer, so you might get a little hot with something like this, but they make a model that has a mesh back, so that's a little less hot. Um, there's always a solution. Check them out, Dean Adams. My plan for today is to find a coffee shop to go work at. Uh, when you work at home, sometimes, you just need to get out to do work. Like the dogs are gonna bother me and I really need to focus today because I want to edit more of, I'm gonna be working on editing clips from our new online course, the Practical Handgun Academy, which is gonna be a live fire online course that you can do on your own time. So really excited to release that, but before I release it, but in order to release it, I have to edit all the videos and put them into Teachable and all that. So. Really just wanna find somewhere to go work today. Go ahead, Wyatt. Where I can have a little space from these guys cause I just, I need to focus. And sometimes it's just nice to be around other humans while you're working and when you work at home, that doesn't usually happen. So, so I'm gonna just get all my stuff. I have this big bag I got from Buff Bunny, I love it. 
I'm just gonna put my laptop and everything I need in here and we'll get going. Okay, it is a rainy 42 degree day. Not my favorite, but we're gonna go find a coffee shop. Um, honestly, one of the things, probably the only thing that I miss about where I used to live, like in Boston, was the amount of like restaurants and coffee shops that were available. Like whatever you wanted, you could go find it. And here, now that I live in the suburbs, it's like all Starbucks and there's really no like cute coffee shop to go work at, but I'm gonna drive 15 minutes to one that I went to once before and it was okay. They didn't have outlets for my laptop, which could be a problem, but I haven't been in a while, so maybe they changed that. We're gonna think positive. I'm also really hungry, so probably get something to eat there, do some work, and then come back home, but let's go check it out. I just wanna tell you guys about our new online course because it's gonna be available hopefully within the next couple months. Um, I'm working to get everything put together. It's a lot of work to put it together, but once I have it all consolidated in one place, it'll be easy for you guys to take the course on your own time, do it whenever you have time, and it's gonna be live fire stuff. So when I met Mac, he was teaching live fire classes for civilians, and it was all practical stuff, like things you need to know for real life situations, not just marksmanship and just shooting for fun. It's like things that are actually going to help you if you ever, God forbid, have to draw your gun. So we wanted to create a course that you guys can take since we can't go and teach everybody individually. Um, we wanted to create a course that you can take wherever you are and use it at your own range. So the way it's gonna work is we have videos and explanations of the different things you'll be learning. For example, like positional shooting, shooting from your knees, shooting off your back, shooting from behind cover, things like that. So you'll watch us do it, we'll explain it all, and then you'll get a worksheet, something printable or something you can just pull up on your phone that you can take to the range with you and practice what you learned in the videos. So that'll make it really easy for you guys to watch the lessons and then do it at the range the next time you go to the range. And um, there's gonna be a lot of different topics covered in this course from the going through the draw cycle to not using your sights when you shoot, just doing point shooting or instinctive shooting, um, lots of stuff. So I hope you guys are excited for it. I'm excited to get it out there. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today is just editing a lot of the stuff that we've already filmed for the Practical Handgun Academy. So if you're excited for that, let me know down in the comments because we still have some things to film. If you want to see something that's included in that course, let me know what you're excited to learn about in terms of real life or practical hand and shooting. First I'm gonna look around this store because they have a lot of cute stuff and I still have to get something for our Yankee swap for my family so let's see if I can find something. I did end up finding a Yankee swap gift. I probably have to get a couple more because I think the boys are probably gonna want to do it too. So I gotta get two more Yankee swap gifts but I'll probably find something on Amazon. Um, I'm freezing right now. We're gonna head home. Hopefully the wood stove's still going and we'll see if Mac is awake and continue on with our day. I wanted to tell you guys that this holster is so comfortable. I kind of forgot I had my gun on me. Like you don't really notice it's there because it's so discreet and comfortable. So if you want to try it out, I highly recommend. It also makes a great gift. This is where I went by the way. It's called An Unlikely Story in Plainville, Mass. Really cute little shop. All right, I just got home and I got a package that I'm kind of excited about if this is what I think it is. Let's open it and see. Okay. 
if you've ever heard of Undertech, they make concealed carry clothing, like shorts, t-shirts, whatever. And they, this looks a little big. They had a jacket that I really wanted to try because it has a holster built into the jacket. So I bought this specifically for the 12 days of carry so that I can wear this one of the days and test it out for you guys. Let's see how it fits. See a key, there's like a key to lock up the pocket. That's so cute! I love it, with a furry hoodie. Ugh. Let's see what this looks like. Oh wow, that's... <laughs> what am I... <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, I'm ready for Alaska. That is quite the furry hoodie in this side. So it'd have to be on this side. There's a holster in here. I'd probably have to put my own. I don't know if I like this. Let's try it out though. So this is the holster. Gun goes like that. That's not bad. It's like stretchy. It's a cross draw though, so we don't love that, but. That goes right into the jacket. Okay, tomorrow I'm going ice skating with my sister and my stepson's and my nephew, so I think I'll have to try this out there and see how it does. Cool, I'm glad that came. All right, now that we're back home, let's open day four of our Gun Girl Advent Calendar. So, day four. This is going by fast. Okay. They are gun paper clips. That's really cute. So she sells these on her website and you can get a bunch of these little gun paper clips for all your work. <sighs> How do you even make that? That's really cute. I like that. It looks like that. <laughs> nice for your office. I like that. Really cute. I have to film my outro. Hi. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I just made hot chocolates and we're gonna watch Elf, right? Hi. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. You wanna do the, the thing I do at the end? What? So what are you doing? Stay safe. Stay, stay safe. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.